What is your productivity type? There are three major types. What are they? Let's find out. <laughs> Now I'm gonna share with you these three productivity types. And before I tell you what they are, just let me tell you, before I knew about these three types, I had a bit of a challenge in my career. You know, because, because the reality is if you don't understand what your productivity type is, what your weakness is, what your strength is, it's very hard to do the best at work. It's quite hard and you're quite often conflicted. Um, you often tend to do things that you're weak at doing and you you spend just too much time doing them and you want to avoid that of course as much as possible so what are these three types the first productivity types are starters these are people who are very good at starting starting new projects starting new ideas many times they're creative so when you need something new some fresh ideas some fresh perspective starters are the best to do it you know, they like to get projects going. They like to get people involved usually. They, they really take a project off the ground and there, there's not much waiting time. They're just excited, you know, to get started. My personal case as well, naturally I'm a starter. Yeah, so starters weaknesses of course is they get things going. They get themselves going, they get everybody else going. But their big weakness is they often don't follow through. They don't often finish everything idea in the in the best possible way which brings us to productivity type number two finishers <laughs> yeah we got starters and we got finishers so finishers as the name says are very good at finishing things whatever starter started finishers are the one to complete the project they get it done and they're also usually better at consistent work consistently moving things forward to get things done which is a big weakness for the starter it's a really big strength for the finisher so for finishers yeah they are not very good at starting their big weakness but they get things done you know they complete them until the very end that's what they're terrific at so you already see the challenge there right in most business situations you really need a combination of both types you need starters but you also need finishers to get the job done so what is the third productivity type? Can you guess? It's both of them. <laughs> Some people, their productivity type, they, from my experience, there's almost nobody who is both, who is good at starting things and as good as finishing things. Everybody is naturally inclined in one of these two directions. But there are people, they have learned to do both. So there are starters who have learned to become way better at finishing. And there are finishers who have learned to become way better at starting. And it takes both. So there are some people who are naturally like that, but from my experience, they're not a lot. They're not very abundantly around. You usually have one of the first two type. And the third type, if you want to become that, you can work on that. So how would I suggest that you use this knowledge? Well, very simple. As an example, myself, I'm a starter. I know I'm not the best at finisher. So I've surrounded myself over the years of my career, of my businesses, with people who are very good at what I'm not good at, who are very, very good finishers. You know, in your case, you can do the same. If you're not a great starter, surround yourself with finishers. If you're a great finisher, you want to find somebody or several people who are very, very good at starting. Yeah, so that is one great way to do it. The other great way to use this knowledge is to find a coach to help you in actually either side. You know, I'm a big believer that you should always work on increasing your strengths and become stronger at your strengths and that for your weaknesses, you should find a solution. So my personal business coach as well, most of the time we focus on my strength, which is starting. But a certain part of our coaching is also focused on what? My weakness, which is finishing things. Yeah, so he holds me accountable to get things done. He helped me get more consistent as well. So you can use these tips as well. Think about what is your type? What could you delegate? What other solutions could you find? 
to become strong on both ends or at least a little bit stronger in your weakness. So comment below one time, which of these three productivity types is your type? Are you a starter, a finisher, or are you a good combination of both? And what are you going to do from now? How are you going to use this knowledge to become more productive in your day-to-day -day work and also your day-to-day -day life? Yeah, by the way, if you haven't done it yet, hit that subscribe button. We got lots and lots of great videos coming up. And if you like this one, you can click like it as well. And most importantly, I really look forward to seeing you for the next video.